Hey guys, look at my 400 video, blah blah blah. Uh, here's my art one. Let me just get this thing on. Um, just give me a second. Four hundred video, and today we're gonna review Super Mario Brothers. Earth free, do 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 do. Oh, ignore that. So we're gonna review Super Mario Brothers free finally. Blah blah blah. In this game, you had to get some power ups and save the princess from Bowser again. Yada yada yada. Well. I'm doing this as quickly as possible because my video stopped it again. And and you get different power-ups, you just get a power star to beat up bad guys, raccoon suit to make you fly, get all the coins, and jump on Koopas on their shells, I'm hitting them blocks, get more coins, and I'm hitting the P switch. And every each to the things as well, like you play Toad's mini game and you get more lives, you end up in a fortress, and then every each of them will have boom boom in it, and then you do a mini game, da 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 da. And there's different types of enemies, the Hammer Bros, which you always find are each stage and you get more power-ups when you get them and, and, and every time you end a stage when you get all free cards you get extra lives and every each end of the level you will face one of Bowser's Koopalings, Inky Blinky Clyde oh, wait wrong character Rary Hey, Wendy, Koopa. Oh, and they have different abilities, so you can defeat them. And not so much, there are seven, oh, well, eight world levels Grassland, and Desert Land, Waterland, Giant Land, Skyland, and Pipe Maze Land. And let's see, um. The water land, and even Bowser's land as a final stage. And there's different types of enemies in the game, including the sun that wants you dead. And there's boos, swamps, those Goombas, Koopas, Chips. It's a reset about the Hammer Bros, Boomerang Bros. Rondas, as a crabat, la la la. The bullet bills, the underwater ones. There's so many enemies in this game, and it's one of the best parts of Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, I'm doing this pretty fast, in the case this video goes out again. Anyways, you get lots of coins, get enough extra money to get this far in the game, yada yada yada. Oh yeah, I forgot about the chain shops too. And that they first appear in this game. Anyways, they're like hitting areas you had to find and get more power ups and more lives you get. Extra items to find other hidden areas. And let's see, um. Oh, yeah, you have to use a hammer to destroy the rocks that are in your way. Not to mention the music is pretty cool. I'll give it that, it's actually pretty great. It's one of the greatest games out there. And every each end of the levels you visit, Peach will even only give you a piece of it to make Mario oh, skip all the dangers. But if you get a flute, 
Luke will pretty much easily skip all these levels. Once we can get toward the end of the game and finish it up in less than 20 minutes. This game is really long for like 3 hours. Not to mention, and the graphics in this game are perfectly done. And it's amazing. And that you find in pretty cool hidden places in this game. And that's a good thing about this game, in that it's worth the fun. Oh yeah, and every time you visit Toad Towns, you'll get extra power-ups. Because the game will become a little bit harder later on in certain challenges. It's like this place where you have to find which door leads you the way out, and the other one. Get more, more challenges on the way. This is actually pretty cool. Anyways, we'll just cut to the chase. The final level becomes a little bit more difficult, so you better make sure you got enough raccoon suits to fly throughout this entire thing to finally reach Bowser's castle. Because it'll become a little bit difficult getting to him and solving puzzles and and doorways. And some hidden switches to know exactly where you're gonna go. I'll show you a hidden pathway. So, to speed this up, excuse me. <laughs> and avoid these arms, and you finally get to Bowser himself. I said, and you get to Bowser himself. Yeah, if you have a power up, you can easily beat them up. So if you're playing with Mario, you can trick Bowser to jump on these and make him fall to his doom. But you also fall to your doom as well, so you have to start all over again. And we get to our ending in the game. And that Princess Peach was waiting for Mario and saying this title. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye bye. And that was Super Mario Brothers. I love it. It's one of the best games out there. There since 1988. I did beat this game as a kid. Well, uh, a few years ago. It sure it took me like three hours. By playing the game by its rules, just going through all eight worlds. I did beat the game on Game Boy Advance and Super Nintendo. At least on Super Nintendo, you can save game even any time you want. I'm like, finally, now I don't have to play the entire game all to myself. I can just beat the game even later on without starting them all over. So overall, this is one of the best games out there, 10 out of 10. Amazing graphics, amazing sound effects, everything about it is awesome. Glad you guys are watching this video, my 400th video of me talking about Super Mario Brothers 3. One of the best games out there on the NES, and I'm finally reviewing it. Sure, the game on eBay has like expensive money for like probably a hundred dollars or forty or 
50 or 60 dollars. That's worth playing. Just in case this video stops randomly, I'll go ahead and end it. Thanks for watching. And if you like, subscribe to this video. So, I'll catch you guys when I am most likely done with my art. And hopefully, you get this 400 video more likes. Eh, it's coming to end anyways. Bye!